This video is sponsored by Simply Safe. Go to simplysafecom donut operator to learn more. Baby, some dirty homeless guys trying to break into the house. Well, good thing we have very effective, highly reliable, very affordable home security like Simply Safe. I heard they had 24 7 monitoring, so if someone breaks in, then they tell the police exactly what's going on because the camera in the house comes on. Simply Safe is modern comprehensive, which means it protects your home inside and out. <laughs> A bunch of experts online even chose Simply Safe over a bunch of other security systems. They said it was amazing. Electronic locks, cameras on the outside, cameras on the inside. <laughs> it's super easy to set up. <laughs> it's super easy to set up too. All you gotta do is pop everything on the walls, put the keypad up, and put your home base in the center of your house. Glass break sensors, motion sensors. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like Rick? All right, Morty, we're gonna get Simply Safe today. I don't know about that, Rick. It's pretty, it's pretty expensive. No, Morty, it's not expensive. It's 50 cents a day. They also have a new Simply Safe lock that can be opened remotely from anywhere. Everyone can have their own code so you can tell who comes and goes. <laughs> jealous ass. You're so jealous and big. Mm, look at this big jelly boy. You're so jelly. You're so jelly. You're so jelly. All right, all right, go, go. I have to make video. Homeless man needs space, dogs. Homeless man needs space, dogs. Ow, don't bite me. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh my God. Um, go means go. No means no. <laughs> go, go, go. Go. Oh my god. Hi everyone, Donut here. You may be asking yourself <laughs> You may be asking yourself, what a dirty homeless man is doing with a submachine gun? I'll tell you how. Because it's affordable and I got my Trump bucks, what I didn't spend on cocaine and hookers, I got this. You know how I do gear reviews. If you want an actual serious in-depth review on this gun, you got Coleon did one, uh, Grand Thumb did one, uh, Mr. Guns and Gear probably did, probably everyone who does gun reviews did one of these. This is made by Grand Power in Slovakia. Hey, what up, Jones? Dude, all the animals, I can see your tail. All the animals come to hang out when I'm in here. Hey, hey, no, no, Jones. Oh, God. Uh-huh. He just came in here and turned my chair around and my camera was on. And like pointed it at, at the door and then walked out the door in style. I was just kidding at the first when I said it was an SMG. This is actually, actually a pistol. It's not a submachine gun whatsoever. That was a joke, ATF. But why? Because this guy right here is not a folding stock. It is a folding brace. So it's a pistol. Comes with a couple 30 round magazines for nine millimeter, nine millimeter, five. Nine, 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 nine millimeter, ambidextrous control, both sides, that's for magazine release and the bolt release non-reciprocating charging handle so once you get it locked to the rear like this like this the charging handle doesn't come back so you can get all your operator c clamps whatever you want on it comes with a pre-threaded barrel so if you want to add a suppressor to it that'd be pretty rad flip up front and rear sights i put a couple hundred rounds through it had no troubles it's a great gun this must be an expensive pistol you may ask actually it costs 659 dollars but you can get $50 off if you use the code DONUT at checkout. That's not a bad deal for such a cool pistol. Let's get on with my review. Hi everyone, DONUT here. I'm standing here with my friend. Uh, he came as Bob. We're gonna name him something else, I don't know yet. What's that you say? Demolition Ranch already made the video? Listen here you, I've had this body armor for like three months now, this Wish body armor right here and I planned on making the video but then the corona happened and just so turns out I don't have the land to go shoot on and the, and the range just opened back up. He's got a demolition wrench to go shoot shit on. I don't. I had this video idea first, Matt. You may be wondering how I got here. Seriously though, before we go any further, I'm not casting shade at Matt. We never even discussed this idea. He just kind of beat me to it and don't go throwing shade at him, boys. He's a good friend of mine. This is all in good fun, so be nice. Uh, okay, I got three pieces of armor over here today. This one feels like it has something in it, but it feels like 
it's not very tough and bullet resistant. This one feels like it might actually have Kevlar inside of it. This is the 2019 U.S. Army Military Tactical Vest Anti-Stab Hard Self-Defense Clothing Bulletproof Security Equipment Men Tactical Vest Bulletproof Vest Mountaineering Vest 13 Color. And thank God it's like 85% off. I paid $9 for it and not $291. Only chumps paid $291 for something that's going to save their life. Am I right, boys? As you can see, it's probably not of the highest quality. That says, I have a virus. <laughs> that's a piece of foam. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's cool. Oh, this sucks, man. Matt already showed this one. Because he pulled his out and was like, oh, look at this piece of foam on it. This one, I'm pretty sure, is just a, just a steel plate. So it's strong. How are you strike supposed face, to attach car, that? Can armor. This is the 2.3 millimeter high technology safety gear armor military police 100% PNIJ level 3A standard standalone bulletproof steel plate safety gear. It comes in at $27. Good thing it's not $199. It's sold out now too, by the way. So good luck getting one. Why is this guy bleeding? This is the new protective vest, body armor, tactical military equipment, tactical vest, protection, special security protection, new appliances, appliances. <laughs> what? This one is $46. Good thing it's not a thousand dollars like it normally is. What did Bob do to you? <laughs> Joe, I'm gonna name mine Matt. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, Joe Exotic had the dummy that he named Carol. He could have put a wig on it. Bob's giving me a dirty look. What you gonna do about it, baby? I've got this. Let me just climb over the thing because we don't know how to move these little discs <laughs> here. We're using the uh, 9mm Strybog. I'm gonna narrate this more at home because I'm hungover and I want to get this video over with. <laughs> <laughs> with viral sensation Ryan <laughs> last night, we might have like drank tequila all day. You drink a bunch of tequila? Yeah. But all no. right, first shot. Everybody, eyes and ears. All right, we're just gonna put one center man. Shoot him in the face. <laughs> then he can't stare at us in the garage anymore. <laughs> Got one right, right in the center. Right here, nine millimeter. What do you guys think? Oh, <laughs> poor Bob. Bob is dead. Bob is dead. It went Bob through his heart. Dead. Look at that. Went right, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, it went right through and it carried it directly into Bob's heart. So that one didn't work. I sh I'm sure this one's gonna work right here though. The one that had foam in it. Maybe it's like stab resistant or something. I don't, I don't know. Oh, that's it's kind of stab resistant. Let's do a little harder. Oh shit, hold on. That's not going through. Oh, it's stab resistant at least. Uh, it's good for British police officers. It's stab resistant. <laughs> yeah, it went through Bob and came out this. Came out the Why, back. even the back? It blew the back out. <laughs> wow. High quality. This is the one for sure. Bob, what's up, brother? I got your center mass right there. I'm sure it stopped. Oh my God, Bob. Let's try the stab on that too. May I borrow your knife again, sir? Damn you, Matt Character. That definitely went through. Bob's Bob's a goner. Matt's not gonna hang out with me again. No, no. All right, we're just gonna reuse this one and put this plate in here. There. It just velcros one time, so I'm pretty sure, like, if you were running or something, the plate would come right out. Here, let me, let me come. Yeah, I don't. You guys, want you guys actually get out of here for a second. <laughs> it's fine. Maybe. Hey, it's fine. It's crazy. I made them leave because, like, there's no telling what kind of steel that steel this is. We were here. Yeah, I caught a piece of shrapnel in my That's arm. Because you shot the train shot. <laughs> All right. 
We got one center mass right here. Oh wait, that's the other one. Oh shit, I hit him up. Is that? Oh, I didn't even hit the damn son of a bitch. What? I, oh, I hit the corner of it, so it threw. I don't know if it went through. I think it threw some trap. Damn it! I, I completely fudged that up. Look. It shot some uh, steel shrapnel all over the place because I hit the very corner of it. I was kind of nervous about that shot. <laughs> Let me do it one more time. That was just a terrible shot. All right, babe. Let's see, babe. Yeah, it looks like I got him right here that time. Oh, oh it didn't go through because it's a steel plate. <laughs> yep, didn't go through. Let's pull the plate out and see what it looks like. Ooh, look at that. No, I caught it. Look at that. Because it is a steel plate. <laughs> yeah. So we could probably shoot this with, you know, any of the guns we have out here today, and it's just going to do the same thing. Jesus, it like exploded in there. Yeah, that's cool. There's little fragments everywhere. Matt. <laughs> I want to do, oh, okay, so the Seattle thing. Back, back up over there, Kaylee. I'm going to run, and then I'm just going to see how fast I can get in the T-box. Okay. okay, you ready? Yeah? Yeah, let me try that again. And then we can see if he doesn't bed. Oh god, he's caught on his forehead again, You're... but uh oh. Let me try it. Let me run? Yeah. Okay. Did he die? Like would that kill him, you think? Yeah, it would kill him. Are right, you ready? Yep. Go. Nice, right in his eye, like above his eyebrow. Good stuff. Cool. Sweet. Die, Bob, die! Die, Matt, I mean, Bob! <laughs> you said very twice. Very. No, I fucking felt that too. <laughs> what that's gonna go in. The neighbors are gonna see me out here doing this and they're actually gonna call the cops because they're nosy white people. <laughs> He's still trying to break in! Oh, he is, is he? Good thing we don't live in... Canada. <laughs>